What's going on, Random Community? It's your girl, Randomly Angie, and I'm coming to you with a kinky and curly moment where I am doing a birthday hairstyle for myself, which is a twisted mohawk. Now, if you're not part of the Random Community, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become part of the Random Community. And after this video, stay tuned for a ma birthday makeup look that I'll have coming up shortly. Now, right now, I just took my hair loose in section by section, and um, I'm just making little small sections, making parts here. Don't worry about having everything even because it's going to be covered up in a way so that's the best part about that because i don't have my mirror behind me to help me to style the hair looking at the back and the front comparing all the time so yeah we're going to do this a little bit easier for myself so we're just taking section five section to loose and then we're just uh, parting the hair into smaller sections and just pinning that down until we can get to the major style portion now my hair is already washed and cleaned up and everything however um, since I let it air dry it's kind of dry here and yes you should not be handling you should not be handling your natural hair at a very dry state but at this point right now my hair was partially detangled so I thought I'd just you know rough it up and everything well not rough up my hair just rough it going through to, you know just doing this type particular thing now with this uh, video time frame, it took me about 20-25 minutes to really get through everything all because my hair was not 100% detangled, but we survived. Now here I am almost making my way up to the crown section. So this area has always been a big section, so we're always going to make sure we handle this area with care, but also take care of fairy knots and make a big section out of this. Again, we're not worried about parts being completely clean and correct and all because a lot of it's going to be covered. We're not even concerned about that. All right, so now that we've got all the hair up, we're going to start with the back section. We're going to spread some water on, just some cool, nice, cool water. The scalp loves it anyway. So go ahead and work that in. We don't want it drenching wet. We just want it somewhat moist. And then we got the Carol's Daughter milk hair uh what is it the milk leave-in conditioner it's um it's pretty good decent and everything else but you know i've had better and then we're gonna put on the shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie this is to help with the curl pattern because we are doing a twist and then we're going to go ahead and take a wide tooth uh, shower comb and go ahead and detangle some and then we're coming with my jumbo rake comb and work the rest of it up since it's a little bit smaller than the wide tooth comb then we're just going to take an ultra so what is this i think a goodies ultra's hair to oh, all hair band scrunchie whatever you want to call it and always know these things are like currency in the natural hair community because you can buy 50 on monday and then probably by friday you only got five and then we're just going to two strand twist and so as far as this back section i uh, divide it into two one on each side two strand twist leave it loose you don't have to do a whole lot just leave it loose a little bit and then go on to the next section we're going to take that uh hair band out and then just wet it up with the water put in the carol's daughter milk leave-in conditioner in fact let me just go ahead and get up while the video's going and see what's the name of this conditioner because i know y'all gonna ask and then we also apply on the uh, shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie in so as far as the carol's daughter i'm using the hair milk nourishing and conditioning original leave-in leave-in moisturizer and it deeply moisturizes improves softness and prevents uh frizz it says so it has is it agave agave i don't know a-g-a-v-e how about that shea and soybean as uh, the main ingredients this was my my very first carol's daughter hair product so I was a little skeptical. <laughs> All right, so this section do the same thing. Once we have on the Alshers uh, hairband onto the section, we just divide it into two sections and double strand twist on each side. And then we're gonna go to the next section, which is the crown of the head, which is a pretty big area. So I already know right here, we're gonna go ahead and split this off into two to three sections of the double strand twist. So wet it up nice and good because the thicker the hair is, or the thicker the section, the more moisture you need. And massage that in, yes, that felt good. And then we put in the Carol's Daughter hair milk and also the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Cream. And we just divide it off into sections so we can make this little detangle process a little bit easier with the wide tooth comb and then with the jumbo rake comb. Look at that curl pattern, y'all. Look at it. Y'all, I'm trying to come for my uncle, but you know, he's, uh, like back in the 70s, his fro was huge. But anyway. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pin this up into the, um, its own section with the outer band. And then we're going to go ahead and do the 
two strand twists of each section and this is at the crown of the head as well so this section will be pretty uh divided up because it's a thick area very thick 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 And then we got the last final section. Now this, I I was thinking about doing single uh, single strand double twist, single to double stranded twist. Okay, I am tongue tied right now. But yes, I was thinking about that. But now it's like, oh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and put an Alshon's band on it and just put it up and just make it into two sections of a double strand twist. So I just went ahead and just applied, did what I had to do. And as you can see, that right side uh, thinning edge you see is getting a little bit better there. Yep, we working on it, y'all. We working on it. And then we got the last one going now. <sighs> so, if you're not part of the random community, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video because you know Randomly Angie is just going to put all types of stuff out there for you. So, check it out, check it out. I love how the light is not reflecting off my hair to show detail of my hair, but that's okay. That's all right. I am fabulous. Alrighty, so apply the edge control and then lay them edges with a silk scarf, y'all. And then stay tuned for my birthday makeup look coming up next. Don't forget to check out my social media and Facebook channel, Snapchat. Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram at randomly, randomly Angie. And if you got any questions, comments, or so, put it in the description box down below. Check that out. And also in the comment section down below. So I'll check you next time, Random Community. And see ya. Good night.